Hi there, Miranda Alt here with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team with your Monday market update for Monday, August 28th, 2023. Thanks for watching. A quick look at your McHenry County numbers for the last seven days. We had 120 new listings and we're back to having more homes going under contract than we had newly listed. It was it was a short stint where we didn't have as many uh, under going under contract as we did new listings, but we are back. 137 went under contract and only 120 new listings. So uh, we have more going under contract than newly listed. Listed again. We had a, a 96 closed sales, which is pretty low. Under 100 is pretty low for our county. Uh, 96 price changes, which is pretty high. And we have 30 currently on the private network. So one of the things that we are talking about right now is how the interest rates are affecting our housing market. We still have very low inventory, so prices are remaining steady. Uh, they have gone up. Uh, they went up from December 22, 2022 all the way through July. I'm not sure what we're gonna see happen in August. It's the end of August, so we don't have any of our August numbers yet um, in the MLS reports that we get. We won't get those until mid-September, but I think we're gonna see prices coming down ever so slightly, not a lot. If you're a buyer, don't think you're gonna go out there and get a home for $30,000 under list price. That's not gonna happen. So we're not seeing prices come down significantly, but we are seeing houses, houses sitting on the market for you know seven days you know, not being sold in two or three. Um, we are seeing fewer multiple offer situations. I know I had four buyers going out over the weekend. Uh, one went to an open house and did not like the property enough to submit an offer. A lot of what's playing into this is the monthly payment. What the, what the buyers are looking at that they're gonna have to pay per month and they're getting a little scared away if the house isn't absolutely perfect. Another one of my buyers had a property under contract last week, decided to cancel that contract of the inspection, even though it was all minor stuff, they were stretched so thin with their monthly payment that they really didn't feel comfortable taking on something that needed some projects being done. And so now they're buying a new build um, and those new builds, they are offering a lot of incentive for buyers. They're offering the two to one buy down for mortgage rates. So they're offering like a 5.1% interest rates and interest rates right now are like 7.5. Um, a lot of people are getting an 8% interest rate. So um, that's playing into what people are willing to accept in terms of condition and uh, in terms of uh, what kind of payment they're gonna be allowing themselves to take on. So I've got one buyer that just decided to go with a new build. So they didn't have to worry about repairs and they were gonna get a big incentive with the interest rate and they're getting closing cost credits. Um, so it's hard to compete with those new builds on some of those things. Um, I have another buyer that looked at a property and they're thinking about it, but it's a little bit more than they wanted. It's not quite what they need. Um, so we just have a lot of different situations that are happening with buyers where these interest rates aren't keeping them from buying. It's not that it's slowing down the, the uh, market, it's that they're just being a little bit more particular and a little more cautious about what they're getting into. Um, so that's how we're seeing the interest rates playing out because I have some people who I run into who aren't participating in the housing market right now and saying, who's buying a house at 8% 8, 8 interest rates? Well. The reality is, is that people move because of their motivations. We've talked about this before. They don't move because of interest rates. They refinance, but refinance because of interest rates, but they're not going to buy something because of an interest rate. For example, I myself did not move when the interest rates were 2%. I refinanced. So the reasons people move are still happening and people are still motivated to move, but their buying habits are changing. They want the house to be completely move and ready. We are seeing still people offering for the as is purchase, but then maybe doing an inspection and going, look, we will cancel the contract if you don't want to fix anything, which is fine. But if you want us to keep this deal together, you might have to fix some things because we just aren't going to have any other, we're not going to have any extra money. Um, it's just really, really strange out there. It's a very difficult market to navigate, um, especially if you're a new realtor or if you are a new, uh, new buyer. Um, something to think about is as these interest rates keep climbing, um, they're up to 7.25 is the is what the uh, average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage is right now. But some people don't qualify for that rate, so they're getting even higher. So 7.25 is average. So right now, there uh, that is the highest interest rate that we've had since 2021. Sorry, sorry, 20, 2001. So we have the highest interest rate in over 20 years. And so that is making people feel like their, their, their money is just not going as far. Here's the thing to consider about 2001. In 2001, we had more inventory. We did not have prices going up as rapidly as they have been re in recent years. 
and we did not have the, as high of an average annual sales price. So prices are higher and wages are not increasing at the rate that home prices are going up. So what's happening is a lot of people are just simply being priced out. A lot of people are being forced to continue to rent, even though rent is very expensive. So a lot of people are just being put in this situation where they can't afford to buy, they really can't afford to rent, and housing is becoming a big issue for people. So we, uh, Lawrence Yan was talking uh, the other day about possible ideas of how the feds could help this, giving incentive to builders to build more properties because we just have, we just don't have enough. We don't have enough homes to go around. That is the end all be all problem. Interest rates, yeah, that's a problem, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is inventory. So if the feds can give some incentives to builders to build, another uh, suggestion that Lawrence Yan gave was to give an incentive to small investors, small time investors, maybe mom and pops who own 10 or 12 rental properties, maybe give them an incentive on their capital gains tax so that they can maybe unload some of those properties and uh, free those up to create more inventory. Um, we've just got some different ideas being thrown around of how we get more inventory because there really is no end in sight. We don't have builders building fast enough to meet the demand. So I hear some buyers saying, well, I'm just gonna wait till interest rates come down and there's more to choose from. Well, you could be waiting five years. And if you're a renter and you're renting for five more years, that is like lighting all your money on fire. You're better off maybe overpaying. And when I say overpaying, you're not really overpaying, but what you appear or you interpret to be overpaying, do that versus paying rent. Um, that is gonna be a better investment. So uh, we still have a very difficult housing market to navigate, it's not impossible. I have a lot of buyers closing this week. On August 31st, I think we have five closings for the Miranda Alt team. Many of those are buyers. They are very excited about the new home that they're purchasing. It's perfect, they're super excited. So I don't wanna give the impression that there's nothing to buy, there is. There are homes being sold, there are new homes coming to market. We had 120 homes come to market last week. Some of those are great homes. So there are things to buy. It's just, it's difficult to navigate. If you're a seller, um, it's not as easy as it was a couple years ago, even last year, even earlier this year. The interest rates have gone up and buyers are being very particular. So if you are um, a, a seller and you're thinking about selling your home, make sure you're using an agent who is very well versed in this market and knows how to navigate all of these different things. My job is to get my sellers the most amount of money for the smallest investment. That's my job, period. And there's a certain way that we do that. And so it's, it's, a, very, it's a very particular process. Um, and we do a lot of analyzing data in order to come to the proper list price. Listing right the first time, you do not wanna to list too high in this market. If you do, you're gonna sit on the market and it's gonna cost you money in the long run. Um, we've just got some different things that we've gotta be really cautious about as realtors right now. We've gotta be advising our clients on inspections on what kind of inspections to get. Make sure you're realistic about what that inspection is going to tell you. It is not going to be the end all be all. They, you know, I did a TikTok video about this earlier this week. Inspectors cannot open walls. They cannot cut holes in the floor. They can, they can inspect things that they can inspect, that they can see, they can inspect the appliances, the mechanicals, they can go in the attic, they can check the roof, they can check the siding, they can check the foundation, but there are certain things that they just can't do. So you're a little limited on what you can expect those inspectors to find for you. So owning a home is, is, is wonderful, it's a great investment, but there are some, some maintenance items that you have to think about when you're buying a home and it's just, you know, navigating the whole process, it's, it's more than just saying, here's the kitchen, Here's the living room, here's the dining room. There's a lot more to it. So uh, if you have any questions about any of that, please feel free to give me a call. I'm at 815-529-0777 or I'm at MirandaAltTeam at gmail.com, two A's and two T's. Uh, give me a, a call or shoot me an email. I would love to help you with any of your questions. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt Team. Have a great rest of your Monday. Bye-bye.